Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. Today we have part three of our tomato series and things are doing pretty well. Two out of the three plants are, we're gonna talk about are having a little bit of trouble, but the cherry tomato plant is doing absolutely amazing. This is the plant that I was excited the most about for the season and I'm really happy that it's finally growing and doing really well. You could see the suckers are finally shooting off and it's exploded in, in growth since the last update that I showed you guys. It was maybe this tall. We just planted it out. I think it maybe had its first sets of true leaves growing or maybe not even. I, don't, I think it just had its cotyledon leaves even at the moment. So this thing has exploded in growth. It's been I think maybe eight days since I, I did that last update. Maybe nine days. Today might be day nine or eight. I'm not, not positive. And you can see this plant has grown really well. It's about maybe, I would say, I don't know, maybe like two, like maybe like three inches tall, something like that. But it's really wide, like you can see the leaves are reaching from end to end. And it's kind of like starting to overpower the sides. So I got to kind of keep coming in and turning this plant a little by little, which is why it's grown so well, I think, because it's just being spun around a lot. And there's a second seedling that was growing yesterday over here that I clipped off. It was maybe about this tall, so super small. And I you can see that we have two seedlings that have sprouted. The one over here on the left looks really small in comparison to the one on the right. So what we're going to do is basically have a little natural selection and just clip that one out. I and I only want to have one plant growing per, per net cup here this way. Nothing is competing for space or, or nutrients or roots. Everything has its own area to grow in and thrive basically and you can see the leaves are doing very well it's looking nice and beautiful and green and super super healthy and this plant smells amazing guys a really really good tomato seed that I'm planted so I'm really excited about that if you want to see any of these um, of these episodes that I planted before uh, that I planted that I made before of the for the cherry tomato plant just search my previous history guys all you got to do is just check my library and search cherry tomato and you'll find a ton of episodes for this plant this thing is a monster producer and I'm gonna have so many tomatoes off of this one plant and at any point I could just basically come in and take a sucker off over here also and plant that out and that's gonna be its own tomato plant if I ever want to uh, but we'll see, this plant is going to take over a whole space. This, this whole area here could just be this one plant if I wanted it to be. And let's take a quick look at the root system, see what's going on over there. And we planted this on the, in this, in this Kratky system basically on the 15th of the month. It is now actually July, uh, July, June 1st. And you could see the plant is doing really well guys. Look how long this is amazing it just keeps going i gotta stop because i kind of ran out of space up there so but you see the roots are really healthy they're very white and looking really good guys so i got right now maxi grow in there i'm gonna swap out the nutrients for for what's it called for master blend i really like master blend a lot more for my tomato plants especially it grows really well and i seem to understand that that fertilizer a little bit better how it works than, than maxi grow so for no sense in changing a good thing and you can see the blue green ragnar is absolutely different altogether it looks nice and green on the outside but the underside is really deep and dark purple really beautiful color actually and you only see it when you kind of like have the right angle or when you're looking underneath the plant but it looks absolutely gorgeous but the only problem that i'm having right now actually both of these plants the blue green wagner and the black vernissage is they were both very leggy when i planted them out so if i just kind of move one of these clay pebbles you could see let me zoom you guys in its weight kind of just fell all over on itself and it's still super thin right there and scraggly so i feel like that could break at any moment but the rest of it is getting is thickening up and getting nice and large and growing oh pretty well i think so what I'm gonna do most likely is I'm gonna let this plant get a little bit larger, let let a good sucker start growing in, and I'm gonna clip the sucker and plant that out, and probably scrap this one. And same thing for the black vernissage. Let me show you guys that. This one's even worse. It got even fatter up here, and the base is super thin. Let me see if I could focus that in. So you see right there, 
So I feel like as the plant grows and gets large, larger, especially once the fruits produce, like you don't want this thing breaking on you because of something like that. And to restart from seed right now is gonna take, I'm gonna waste like a good month or so, maybe a month and a half to get to this point. So I don't wanna do that. So I think you could see that it's developing really well. And it's, other, than, other than that, both these plants look pretty healthy. Overall, this plant looks really similar to the cherry tomato. Just about the same size, I think. If it wasn't just for that one issue right there. But you can see, even when I show you the root system, this one is doing really well. And I, I think this is doing even better than the cherry tomato, actually. The roots look, I think, a little bit nicer. A little more developed, I think, overall. And no algae it's it's pretty good i checked all three systems nothing had algae and it looks like it's about halfway down so still plenty of nutrients since our first fill on the 19th of may so what is that it's like uh, 11 days so pretty good guys i think overall nice growth uh we're gonna be back soon for more guys probably for episode four i may show you how i'm gonna switch out the system and probably we're either gonna upgrade in size or I'm just gonna bring everything down here to the lower level and maybe turn it into like a deep water culture system. This way the tomato plants really thrive and get nice and large. Not like this guy over here. So it's all right. Some plants do good, some plants do bad. We'll be back soon guys for more. And before I go, I just wanna show you real quick, trying a little experiment. I noticed there was one more little sucker that was growing on the cucumber plant today, so I ripped that off and threw it in some cocoa core right here, a little, little tray with some water you can see there in the bottom. And let's see if that experiment works. This morning this tendril was curled up, so that's a good sign, so let's see. And second level is getting filled up, really excited about that, I can't wait for this whole thing to be filled with beautiful cucumber leaves. And I messed up the fan. All right guys, so that's all we got right now. I'm gonna clean up the system a little bit here and we're gonna be back soon for more. I got some seeds to plant out and summer's right around the corner. As always guys, if you liked the episode, please show some love, hit that thumbs up, post any messages or comments down below. I'll do my best to respond as always. Thanks for watching.